Hello, I'm making this mandala from the Learn to Crochet book that came out around 2016, 2016, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to be giving you the pattern, but I am going to show you the technique of how to attach the rings to the body of the doily. The pattern is copyrighted, and I respect that. But, you know, you need, even if you buy the pattern and you don't know what to do with it, you've got to be able to work it. So, I'm making the loop just like you do for crochet. Um, I actually like to turn it so the long thread is what's coming off. Oops. Okay. Now, it says to, to uh, join and uh, make a single crochet in your first chain space. It's like all of these are, do they mean this one or do they mean this one? Well, after study the directions, they do mean the single one. Okay, I probably will go off camera. I've got this camera sitting on my chest because it's the only place I can put it. It's huge and my videos are not that good. I'm sorry, but I don't have a studio. I just have this incredibly big camera. Okay, you want your thread to come from behind. This is the front of the doily right here. My thread is behind. Now I'm going to bring this forward here, stick it in here, and I'm going to get my long piece of thread. Maybe. It's fighting me. It doesn't want to do it. And... Okay, you didn't miss nothing because I was just fighting with the thread the whole time. I'm going to get my long piece of thread now. And I'm going to bring it from behind and make my single crochet. I'm holding this very far away from me. It's difficult. One chain. And the next thing you do is you're going to be making your rings. So you're going to put on your stitches. Let's see. This is going to be one. Don't put them too tight or your hook will hang up in them. Just let them glide on. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. Four and a half. Now, now you're going to be attaching it. These serve as picots in regular tatting. You have a pico. We don't have those in micro tatting, really. Uh, not. Let's just say we don't have them here. Now, you've got your pico. Can you see that join there? Now I'm going to add the rest of the stitches for the other half of the ring. Half. One. One and a half. Two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. Now, I'm going to put my finger right here because I don't want to pull this thread tight by accident. This is how you wrap it. It comes up like this around your hand, over your hand back around your little finger. Now this is tight on my hand, but you don't want this to get tight because if you pull that tight, you'll never get through it with the hook. So here it comes through. We hope. Yay, I just dropped it off the needle. So I pulled it out. There. Now this was on the one wrapped around my little finger, which it's just almost impossible to see everything, um, especially when you're the one doing it and can't see the camera really. So you need to pull up your your back thread, N not too tight. You want to snug it, but not too tight because this can suck in here and then you lose it and have to start over. Now you pull the other side of the thread, and this one you can get this one tighter. You want your stitches to look nice and neat. So you do want that one tighter. And I'm now going to pull this through. 
I really can't see it from here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> pull one and pull it through over here. Nope, didn't get it again. It's, a, it's really hard to see what I'm doing. So I'm making a mess here, I fear. Ah, uh, there it is. That, that's what I want right there. It's exactly... You might as well pay attention to this part because you're going to need to do it when you drop yours. It'll happen. Believe me, it will happen. And you'll have to start working to get it back. I just let go of it. Now I've got my original two loops again. Try again. There. Now at this point, I'm going to pull this again and try to get this as snug as possible. Pull it down. Now I'm going to do the chain. I'm going to crochet the chain. It's crow tatting. That means that you crochet between, this is the way I hold, between the rings, I hold my, uh, my hook when I crochet, so if you say, oh, what was she doing? That's just the way I do it. It doesn't hurt your hand like a lot of the ways you can hold it does. I have sore hands already, so I have to be very careful. I don't want carpal tunnel. Okay, I'm going to make one more of these. Hopefully it'll go smoother than the last one did, but you know, sometimes you just they just all come off perfectly and other times. Uh, I think if you've been doing it for a few minutes, it seems like I really get good at it, but I just picked this up. Maybe I should have practiced before I started. All right, just got my Pico join, a type of Pico through that little chain three. I don't want to pull this too tight because if it sucks up there tight, it'll be like a belt and I might be able to get my hook through. So, this is a Hobby Lobby Artiste Egyptian Cotton Thread. I'm using a one millimeter prim hook. And uh, when I'm using uh, crocheting in the body, where there's lots of crochet and no rings, I used a size 7, 1.65 millimeter regular crochet hook. I just use this one between the rings when I'm crotating. If I'm just crocheting, the other one is easier to handle. But I don't want to switch hooks back and forth when I'm actually doing the rings. That would be monotonous. One more. Okay. I'm going to put my finger on here and hold it down so I don't pull it by accident. Up, around, catch it again, over here. Move this whole thing up. Don't bunch it too hard because if you do, sometimes the stitches bunch up and then you get it's easy to snag there. You got to be careful when it comes out that you catch it. Just let this loop off my little finger. Remember when we wrapped it just a second ago? It came up now, not snug it, not real tight. Ooh, those look like nice ones. Okay. And now, some people do take this one through here, but when I do that, my side looks pinched for some reason. So I like to do it the other way, which is pull a, a separate loop through both of them. So each side is uniform in my eyes. Just depends. Do whatever you like. There, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? This chain is where the next round is going to build onto the chain that's between these. These are inward facing rings. This is the base, which is the feet. That makes this the head. Your face is on your head. So inward facing rings. And this is how you put inward facing rings onto the body of your dually. I hope this has been helpful. I'm sorry my videos aren't better than they are, but I don't have a studio. Just have a big clunky camera. So that's it. Thanks for watching.